welcome to the most fascinating place on Earth, Bubble Town. A bouncing, vibrant city where everyone and everything is comprised entirely of globules of air. Let's take a closer look at this effervescent city. Some bubble towners drive to work in their bubble cars, while others simply float. Having a bubble car is great because parking is a cinch. Bubble Town also provides excellent public transportation. Seats are always available because these high-tech buses can account for any number of passengers. Here are some workers going to work in their bubble building. <laughs> you may want to use the door. This office uses stand-up desks and the ceiling for a more efficient work environment. Yes, there's all kinds of things to see and do in Bubble Town. You can enjoy Bubble Town's very own bubble band. Oh, yeah! And if you're hungry, why not try a bubble dog from one of our many bubble food vendors? One, please. Here you are. I am rabid for these dogs. Nah. Oh, Patrick, watch this. Boink. <laughs> Whoops, sorry. <laughs> Draw some more. Nice decor. <laughs> to draw the ground. <laughs> I'm starving. No problem. Two patties coming right up. <laughs> Your doodle patty, say. <laughs> Tastes weird. Yeah, they are a little dry. <laughs> Are we there yet? Yep. That's it over there. What makes you think that's Karate Island? I don't know. Lucky guess? Hello there. The King of Karate has arrived. Welcome to my island, SpongeBob son. Oh, thank you. I, I... I am Master Udon. Master Udon, Sandy Cheeks. I do a little karate myself. Sandy, Sandy, Sandy. Mr. Udon isn't interested in a karate novice like you. He only has time for royalty. Oh, brother. <laughs> Heaven at last. <laughs> I've seen more alert people in a retirement home. Oh, which way to the living without a brain seminar? Don't be late. I've heard better comebacks from a turkey sandwich. Get a life. This place is better than I expected. 302, 303, and 304. Beautiful. And not a pineapple in sight. Ooh, seems like I'm running on empty. <sighs> Not a penny to my name. Well, I guess if I want to fill the hole in my gut, I'll need to fill a job somewhere. Help wanted? Well, Mr. Brown Pants, you seem to have left this entire application blank. Ah, I can't remember a thing. Well, do you have any special skills? 
special skills. Oh, I can do this. <gasps> what do you think you're doing? Sorry, sir, but we run a respectable business here. Okay, I guess they don't want you blowing bubbles unless it directly relates to the job at hand. Thanks for the job, boss. You won't be disappointed. That's real sweet, Brown Pants, but I don't hear that hammer pounded. Then this must be music to your ears. Ah, Neptune, son, what are you doing? You aren't doing that on my building site. You're fired. I do not understand this. What is wrong with this city? Maybe it's not the city. Maybe it's me. Hey, mister! Look at me, mister! Look at me! Is there something wrong with me? <laughs> hey, what's going on? I got places to be! Let's go already! It's too easy. <laughs> <laughs> Come to Papa! At last, my day of triumph has come! Again! Well, well. What? B -b -b but how? You honestly didn't think I would have left you out of this elaborate equation, did you? I, I can explain, Eugene. I, uh, I, I was just keeping it warm for you. Yeah. Sure. I believe you. Say, since you went through all the trouble of getting here, there you go, Plankton. Enjoy the scenery. Hey, where'd he go? Checkmate, crabs. <laughs> Good job, boyo! I simply refuse to fail, sir. Him? That's all very wonderful, but would you mind telling me how you intend to pay for the damage to the bank? Hey, uh, you know, I just remembered I'm late for a very important meeting. Take care of it, will you, boy? Not so fast, Krabs. Looks like you've got just enough in your bank account to cover the cost. SpongeBob gone, hallelujah, SpongeBob gone, I don't give a tune, I, I just... How in the world? Oh. Oh. Ah. Uh, okay. Beep, beep. <laughs> beep, beep. Go around! The fun never ends with us, huh, Squidward? <laughs> Hideous! You too, but somehow you still retain your allure. <laughs> well, here we are in random land. Sure is for that. Sure is for that. Oh, the neighborhood must be affecting my speech. Come on, let's put our grind to the no stone. Aw, oh, Squidward, can we take a minute to smell and stop the roses? Smell and stop the roses? And then stop and smell the roses! Now where are we? There's an exit. Come on. <laughs> The story of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy all started here. Come on, Ernie. The 
the movie's about to start? Where's the popcorn? It's in the microwave, Tim. At that very moment in the apartment directly above, a rogue scientist doing tests on radioactive ants knocks over a jar of his infected specimens, one of which, without any hesitation, crawls down one floor and miraculously lands undetected. It viciously bites our soon-to-be superhero. He screams in pain. Ah! Stumbling backwards. What on earth? In a split second, both men find themselves in a free fall. Ah! That sends them squarely through the roof of the Bats of Acid Factory and into a vat of acid that is tipped over by an errant alien spaceship, carrying the two blindly on a wave of acid during a solar eclipse on a leap year precariously careening into a bomb testing site where a cataclysmic explosion exposes our heroes in waiting to highly toxic radium gases. Then, as fate would have it, magical storm clouds move in, zapping both men with a neon-clad lightning bolt and raining radioactive ooze, which through centrifugal force and electromagnetic turbulence causes a powerful earthquake deep in the jungle 2,000 miles away, consequently unearthing a magical crystal with wings that flies to Ernie and Tim's exact location and, powered by super gamma energy currents, pilots them to open skies until, not paying attention, the crystal clips the top of a billboard, flinging the two back to their apartment miraculously unharmed. When... Hey, the popcorn's ready. They proceed with movie night and eat slightly overcooked popcorn. Patrick, I'm scared. SpongeBob, I'll never forget what my great uncle Cletus said right before he was arrested during a freedom march. What was that? It's where a bunch of people go walking down the street and- I know what a freedom march is, Patrick. I mean, what did he say? Oh, huh. Yeah. He said, let not your heart walk away from you, lest your mind grow legs and follow it. Wow, your uncle sounds like a pretty smart guy, Patrick. What happened to him after he was arrested? I don't know. He was never heard from again. Thanks for the lift. They left us in the middle of nowhere. Oh, this isn't the middle of nowhere. We're actually right on the edge of nowhere. Well, at least it isn't raining. Hey, look, it's Atlantis. Pretty. Whoa! You dimwits haven't even been here two minutes and you've already messed up someone's topiary garden. Go on, SpongeBob. Swing the bell. Ring for the king, huh? Welcome to Atlantis. I've been expecting you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the Lord Royal Highness, but my friends call me LRH. My friends call me SpongeBob. I'm here to see the oldest bubble. Yes, of course. What a ripoff. This street ain't gold. Oh, if it's gold you want, you'll find it in our vault. I'm Eugene. I like money. I can see that. Pleasure to meet you. Come, I'll give you the grand tour of our Atlantean fortress. Welcome to Inferno Island. <laughs> What in the seven seas just assaulted my eardrums? Could that have been an unrequested sound off? 
Well, it must have been my imagination. And you can all thank your lucky stars that I have a very active imagination because it so happens that it is my sworn duty to think of fun things to do with the trash that society has thrown away. I always prefer to recycle. <laughs> Holy fish paste. We got ourselves a couple of rabble rousers. What's your name, son? SpongeBob SquarePants. And are you a rabble rouser? <laughs> Funny you should ask. Once well, I... I hope yard because you sure look mighty tasty and it's too soon after breakfast for me to want to chew somebody's head off actually i am a little hungry hungry barney fetch these two poor hungry souls a snack on the double <laughs> oh these guys are tough the food coma is setting in yeah I could use a nap. Did you say a nap? Well, I know the perfect place for you two to go digest that meat. Couple days in the hole never hurt anybody. This camp is very upscale. I had no idea they had a hot tub. Okay. Here I go! <laughs> hey, this isn't so bad. We can do this. Hey, Patrick, come on up. The air is fine. I'm going to do it quick and get it over with. Cannonball! <laughs> hey, I lost my trunks. Hi, SpongeBob. All right, Pat, you made it. Uh, Come Mr. on, Krabs. Mr. Krabs, I, up here! Let's go to shore! Let's go to shore, Mr. Squidward! Land! Ho! Looking good, Mr. Krabs! <laughs> Come on, Squidward! You're missing all the dry! Come on, Squidward! 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 Well, I'll do it, but I won't like it. Squidward! 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 What? Well... Here we are. This is pretty easy. I may keep a second rock up here. Once you get your land legs, it's not so bad. We're the masters of land and sea. Hey, it's a local. Hi, we're from underwater. Do you know Sandy Cheeks? Three, two, one. Well, tan my fur. They made it. Better go congratulate them. Critters get to. <laughs> yes, Patrick, we're all born in our own place and time. Hello, fellow citizens. Hello, Squilliam. Man Ray is great. Yeah. Must be taking care of his community service obligations. I'll teach him to jaywalk. Hey, uh, Patrick, did you notice anything different about our fair city? Sorry, I couldn't hear you over the clatter of prison chains. I said, isn't there something odd about Bikini Bottom since we got back? No, but yes! Just look at that giant menacing billboard! It's missing a bolt on the bottom right corner! Even worse than that, Patrick. The police got new uniforms. Oh no! What did they do with those old ones? And guys, what happened to the Krusty Krab? The designated area where you are permitted by Man Ray, your ruler, to obtain sandwiches using Man Ray dollars? Do you see the underlying tragedy in all this? I'm all out of Man Ray dollars? No, Patrick. It means that we somehow changed the course of history when we went into the past. Huh? Now, in this reality, Man Ray is ruler. Oh, we gotta do something. But what? What any self-respecting citizen of the free world would do in a time of crisis. See if I still have a job. I do not know. Nor will I ever want to be a member of your stupid club. Oh, 
make a wish, honey. with Spongebob and Patrick. <laughs> oh, why must every 11 minutes of my life be filled with misery? Why? Oh, cheer up, Squid. It could be worse. Yeah, you could be bald and have a big nose. SpongeBob, now that we've got our camp set up, it's time for some moon crater boarding. What's moon crater boarding? It's simple. You ride huh? these on that, like this. Yee-haw! Right here's the flippity doodah. And right there's the classic Texas tail grab. And this I call the 720 nut job. Munchie! And let's not forget my grandpappy's favorite, the tour of the Saturn, Stargazer. Yee-haw! Nothing like extreme sports and zero gravity. All right, your turn. Oh, gee, I don't know, Sandy. It looks kind of scary. Oh, come on, SpongeBob, you got this. It's a can of corn. Well, I don't know what corn is, but I sure like cans. All right, I'll give it a try. Uh, eh. Sandy, this doesn't seem right. Uh-oh. Looks like SpongeBob's too light in the lunar gravity. SpongeBob, grab a hold of this! Okay. Got it. Go up. SpongeBob, what do you call that trick? Yeah! Interesting. Maybe you can teach me how to do a wow! Hey, this is kind of fun. Carol, your real father is. Well, hey! Who's Carol's real father? Watch this, Sandy. All right. Uh, no look. Let's see. A one footed, tongue out, flip, leg up. Smash into the side of the rocket. You did great, SpongeBob. But you should call your trick the one footed, tongue out, flip, leg up. Puncture the fuel tank on the rocket. Oops. Come on, SpongeBob. We gotta get while there's still enough fuel to make it home. Oh, wait. I have to do something very important. There. Mr. Krabs, are you out here? Oh, no. Is that a mermaid song? No, just a thick, eerie fog. Uh oh. Squidward? Come on, Squidward, quit messing around. We gotta find Mr. Cray! Gumballs! This is the Bikini Bottom Triangle. Looks more like a dump. Come on, we gotta find Mr. Krabs. The Krusty Krab needs him. <laughs> Mr. Krabs! Hello! Squidward, this is no time for seahorse play. Oh, my neck. Mr. Krabs! Oh, where am I? Where is everybody? <laughs> I'm stranded. SpongeBob, where are you? I'll make a 
Again? Welcome to Kamamoku Cove! <laughs> guys, guys, I found the cove! <laughs> I bet this guy won't even be here. If he's anything like that last group of dirty dropouts. Oh, don't worry, Squidward. He'll be here. You've never even seen him. You have got to stop judging people by the way they look. You're right. Look! It's him! <sighs> oh, my child. J.K.L. <laughs> Hail, oh great Swami of the Gnarly Pounders. We seek audience with thee. Plus, we want to talk to you. Will you teach us how to surf, oh great one, so we may get back home? Look, surf boy, are you gonna teach us how to surf, or are we just gonna stand here and stare at you all day? I kinda like staring at him. SpongeBob, I do not play games. <gasps> Where am I? What is this place? My clarinet! What the? Ah! Hey, come back! I need my clarinet! Come back! Where are you? Spider! I am the keeper of the Horned Forest. State your business here. Uh, I'm trying to find my clarinet. Your clarinet? Yes, my clarinet, of which I am the proud owner. <laughs> A clarinet is not owned. Why don't you tell me why you're really here? You calling me a liar? I don't appreciate your tone. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to offend you. This is a sacred place where clarinets can live without persecution. You need to learn respect. I've learned! <laughs> I've learned respect. I don't believe you. <laughs> Your next item is the Boxing Begonia. It only grows in the deepest canyon of the Mariana Trench. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That'll keep him out of my hair. <laughs> It's so straight downy. Don't worry, Patrick. A scavenger is always prepared. <laughs> this rope is too short. We need another one. <laughs> Thanks, Patrick. Where'd you get another rope? From that rock. <laughs> <laughs> It's not possible! Boxing Begonia? It's beautiful. 
Welcome to Dollsville, a charmingly born. <laughs> Snap your trap, boyo. You'll blow our cover. A new life in a new town. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't see Plankton doing anything wrong. Maybe he really is retiring. He leaves it when I sees it. <laughs> Quick, boy, he's getting away! <laughs> Yes? I'd like a room, please. Very good, sir. Yeah. How long will you be staying with <laughs> us? <laughs> Forever. <laughs> Your next mission is to find the Loch Ness Monster and bring him back alive. <laughs> what color? Doesn't matter. Good luck. <laughs> They'll never find it. And if they do, it'll eat them. <laughs> it's a win-win. How are we gonna find a monster in the dark? I can't see a thing. We don't have to find it. It'll find us. <laughs> I'm the greatest. And here comes the worst. We're back! back. <laughs> la la! La la la! Nice! <laughs> How did you find it? Oh, simple. Bagpipes. It likes bagpipe music. No, it hates it! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nuts. 